here you go, coronavirus infections, they're the common cold. Human coronavirus vi viruses have long been considered inconsequential pathogens, causing the common cold in otherwise healthy people. However, in the 21st century, two highly pathogenic coronavirus, severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus, that's SARS, and the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus, MERS uh, coronavirus, emerged in from animal reservoirs to cause global epidemics with alarming morbidity and mortality, all right? So one of the statistics I saw in SARS was in China, it was like infected 8,000 people and like 800 people died. But then it just it went away and nothing was done. And we're going to talk about the experience they have with the creation or attempted creation of vaccines. You could say it's not a vaccine for humans yet, but if they fast track it, we're going to get a human vaccine very quickly. And that should worry people according to what history has shown us with the potential or attempted development of coronavirus vaccines being tested in animals currently and in the past. So we'll be going through that. Now, one thing let's clear up. Coronavirus is a, you know, I, I see this on the news, and I think there may be other um, coronavirus patents. Um, identification and basically the RNA, you know, um, the full RNA um, sequence, the sequence, sequencing. You can, um, I, I believe James Weiler, uh, James, he did a really good IPAC, Unbreaking Science. Uh, he talked about it. There were some things on there. If you watch it, I love and look forward to speaking to him about some of the things that I would disagree with. You know, the, the replication or the reproduction of this virus. You know what? If it was in humans, it's not like they just somehow recognized the very first couple of them. You know, it's if it was truly in the meat market for the meat testing and it's like in a vast majority of the meat they tested this meat market it's probably coronaviruses that are people just because they got the common cold and they're still going to go out shopping you know mom dad you know most of us do that and it's not the best thing for society and other people but the reality is sometimes we just got to get something for our kids to eat and got to go to the supermarket and get some food all right and yeah i guess they eat bat there but for it to somehow, and, and the reality is if it transferred from the bat and the person eating it, that person had to be very sick and then it must have mutated in that one person and all of a sudden, now it's infecting everybody. You know, And that to all of a sudden happen with all the coincidental things that have happened in the past plus the creation, the creation, and we will show you solid evidence, they did create a coronavirus that comes from bats they created to be capable of infecting human epithelial tissue in the lungs. They created it in a lab in, I believe, North Carolina. Just wait for that one. And you got links to this, TWD in the comments on Facebook. You can get the links and read all this stuff for yourself. I am just the mailman mailing it and giving you my opinion as I put it in your mailbox. That's kind of what I do.